Today's video is quite different. I would like to talk about the iPad mini 2, whether you should use it or upgrade it to the new one in 2020. If you like this kind of video, please hit the like button. In 2020, iPad mini 2 has born 7 years ago. It is a bit old. Let's find out if it is okay or not to use it in 2020. Now let's start off with design. iPad mini 2 came with thinner design. It is only 7.5mm compared to the iPhone 5S. It is thicker. Therefore, iPad mini 2 is quite thin. It weighs only 341g. This means in 2020 on the market, it is still a device with modern design. For example, you can compare iPad mini 2 to its cousin such as the iPad mini 5. It has no physically differences except the internal component. Ridiculous thing about iPad mini 2, it doesn't bond with Touch ID. While on iPhone 5S, you can find the Touch ID on it. That means you need to manually tie in passcode every time you unlock your iPad. Sometimes it is quite interrupted if you adapt to newer iPhone with Touch ID or Face ID. However, if you still own iPhone 5 or lower, it has no problem at all. Now move on to internal components. iPad mini 2 came with S1 processor which can be found it on iPhone 5S. Unfortunately, iPad mini 2 is stuck at iOS 12.4.6, so for hard user, it is very disappointed. While most iOS apps are supported the latest version, and you cannot try iOS 13 on it. On the other hand, for basic user, it is still fine, while you have less demand on apps and games. For example, most social media, games, Apple apps are supported by iOS 12. But if you plan to play high graphic game like S49, you might experience lower performance. Move on to camera, iPad mini 2 has 5 megapixel camera, which is capable of recording 1080p video. It is still decent in 2020 as most people still okay with it. Unfortunately, it is not a very good device for taking selfie as it came with 1.2 megapixel FaceTime camera. Therefore, it doesn't work well in low light condition. You are not gonna take a good photo in dim area. But it's okay to do FaceTime or Skype with your friends and family. In addition for daily use, me personally, I have no issues so far on my iPad mini 2. I can still use it for simple tasks such as Microsoft Office, some small games, record fun video with family, and so on. Battery on my iPad mini 2 is still handled very well. Overall, for most of you that need more demands, like you need iPad with 8 to 8 screen, like iPad Pro, or you need um, OLED, or you need to record 4K, or you may need long battery life, Touch ID, or you may tired with slow performance on the iPad mini 2. One more thing, if you want the iPad with iOS 13 supported, you should upgrade your iPad mini 2 to the new one. And I hope this video contributes to your decision. And thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.